Here's my impersonation of a super jealous boyfriend the first time he eats Thai food with his new girlfriend. Yo, who the fuck is Tom Ka? That's the stupidest shit I've ever said out loud. So you laughed, I like you all. Except you and the fucking button down. Chill out, asshole. Jesus. I don't, see, I don't smoke much weed. I like it. I'm all about it. I'm all about legalization of marijuana. I'm just unfortunately one of those people who it still affects wrongly. Like, I, I know. I've tried it all. I've fucking done the dabs and the, the oils and the sativa and the fucking indica and, and the Alaskan thunderfuck and the Durban poison. And I know. I've done the CBD. I've done it all. There's still, every time I smoke weed, an 80% chance I'm going to suddenly notice how many people are wearing hats, get weirded out by that for reasons I can't explain, and just leave without saying a fucking word to anyone, all right? There are still people in this country who think it's a gateway drug, and here's proof that it's not, okay? As someone who's not a massive stoner. I've been drunk out of my mind before at a party, and someone offered me a mirror full of cocaine, and without hesitation, I tooted all of it, all of it, in a matter of seconds, all right? I've also been high out of my mind before, and someone's offered me a monster energy drink, and I was like, no. Uh-uh. Hell no, dude. The chemicals, they're so, they're, you know? I think there's like saccharin in there that can give you mental cancer. If you want to call marijuana a gateway drug, it's because you can, you can close the gate. You know what I mean? Like, booze is a gateway drug. They can't call it that because there's no gate anymore because it's been plowed over by a fucking guy in an F-150 <laughs> after tailgating, you know? How many of you, by round of applause, listen to music at work? How many of you that applauded to that are surgeons? Now, did you know that? Did you know that surgeons listen to music when they operate? Put on Pandora and just jam out. Some of them make a playlist and just, it's, it's cool, but it's also a, like a reminder, we're just a gig to them. That's it. It's your life, but it's just there 2.30. <laughs> right? I learned this, okay, my little brother is a surgical tech, okay? That's what he does for a living. He assists surgeons in the operating rooms. Far too much pressure for a young boy. He's 26. Like, the things he has to do are insane. Like, he, he called me after assisting in an open heart surgery, and he told me what he had to do. He had to reach into a man's opened up chest cavity, grab the beating human heart, and hold it steady whilst they rotated the patient. Which, actually, why didn't they rotate the guy first? <laughs> Saying that out loud, that seems completely backwards. I didn't think to ask. Like, the surgeon just barge in, like, cut him open, I'm ready! Like, what doctor? He hasn't been properly rotated. <laughs> I don't give a fuck, I'm an MD! Get the cotton, motherfucker! Like, all right, fine, Jesus. He always gets like this when he listens to Flight of the Bumblebee. That is, that is such, like, I, that's too much pressure. I, my brother's a better man than I could. I could never do that job, because the whole time I would be fighting thoughts like, bite it. <laughs> bite it, do it. Bite right into it. Eat it. Eat it, eat a man's heart. Do it right now. Yeah, you go to prison, but you'll be the king. You'll be the king of the prison. No one's ever gonna fuck with you after they hear you ate a man's heart whilst it still pumped life. I bet that's where they actually, that's why they actually wear those masks. In case one of them's like, uh, uh, ah, sorry. Sorry. My grandfather was in the Donner Party. And if it weren't a thought like that, it would be another one, another morbid thought like, Tear it out of his chest, do it. <laughs> Grab this man's heart tightly and rip it out of his chest. Why? Spare him the agony of ever having a lover do it. <laughs> and like, what if he 
just did. I can't unthink that. Like, what if it was a mistake? Like, people fuck up at work all the time. Like, what if my, like, my younger brother had committed the surgical tech equivalent of, like, spilling a tray of drinks? You know, right? Like, you know how some people, or most people, sneeze normally? Like, achoo, right? But you know how some people sneeze like, ha, 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 ha. Like they're trying to fight, turning into a werewolf. Like, ha, 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 right? That's how my younger brother sneezes. Like he's expelling lazy demons. So he's like, he's holding the heart and then, oh shit. Ha, ha, sorry, ha, ha, no, sorry. Now he's just standing there with a disembodied heart. The machines, boo! They're all staring at him like, who sent you? I would hope in that moment, if it ever happened, that he would just own it. You know, like, pfft, I was quitting his job anyway. <laughs> Fuck you, nerds. It's not what happened, don't worry. My brother didn't accidentally murder a guy. In fact, the surgery wasn't even the main reason he called me. The main reason he called is because he wanted me to know that the head surgeon, for the duration of that surgery, whilst performing it, made a play mix that they listened to, and it was comprised of one band, and that band was corn. Someone said Nickelback. Close enough, but not really. Corn! Corn. Anyone remember 90s new metal phenom, corn? Spelt with a K and a backwards R. Creators of such hits as All I Do Is Dream About Sex and Freak on a Leash. You remember surgery jams. Maybe you're like me and you grew up in the 90s. Well, I saw, I saw Corn Live in high school and it sucked. But it wasn't the band's fault because I couldn't even hear the band over all the chatter in the pit about who got into which medical school, right? <laughs> over here was all Johns Hopkins and over there was all Harvard and then all Duke. I'm like, guys, pipe down. Trying to listen to Got the Life, man. <laughs> corn! Like, remember hardcore corn fans? Colonels, as I called them. <laughs> Already spelled with a K, just add a backward Z. <laughs> the Colonels looked like the band. And if you remember corn, the members of corn all looked like post apocalyptic Rastafarian carnival barkers. <laughs> with Adidas sponsorships. So you know every colonel's parents are always coming down on them hard, like, you are never gonna amount to squat looking like that with a face full of piercings and a chain wallet that dang long. The chain's too long. <laughs> to feast the purpose of the... Th Someone could just get the wallet out of those baggy frickin' jeans and just, with all that slack, just step out of view and take their time cherry-picking. Even write you a, a note, thank you, for not grasping the concept of this defensive accessory. I could really use this Hot Topic gift card. You're never gonna mount this jack squat. I'm sure a lot of colonels didn't, except this one. They were like, oh yeah, fuck you, mom and dad. I'll show you. And now she's a surgeon. Yeah, that's right, California. Oh, I thought this was the fucking frontier where open minds came to Rome. That's right, the surgeon's a woman because women can also be corn fans. And why wouldn't they be with such beautiful lyrics as da boom, na, da boom, na, na, me, na, da boom, na, da boom, na, na, me, na, da boom. Na. Those are corn lyrics, by the way. It's not like I forgot the song and I'm just gibberish singing. Nay, those are the lyrics. Da boom na, da boom na, na mina, and it's written down. It's 
not like the lead singer was just power scatting in the moment. No, they're written out. If you look up their biggest hit, Freak on a Leash, quarter billion views on YouTube alone, look up the lyrics to that song. It's the fucking bridge of the song. Da boom na, da boom na, na mina. The fuck is that? Seems like the lead singer of Korn just had epilepsy and neither he nor the band knew what it was. So when he was about to lay down the vocals for Freak on a Leash, he started having another epileptic seizure. And from the recording booth, the band was like, oh shit, record, man, he's going into genius mode again. Oh God, I blacked out, what just happened? Another platinum single. <laughs> but here's the thing, here's the thing. I was a bit of a colonel myself. So I like to give the band the benefit of the doubt. Maybe the lead singer, Jonathan Davis, was a genius. And that power scatting is actually him giving surgery instructions in Latin. That's why they were listening to it in the OR. Like, wait, did he just say da boom not namina? Was it Namina or Mamima? This is important. Namina? Okay, thank you. Scalpel.